to Back Issues. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. And I'm Ben. Today we're doing New Avengers. I mean, do this forever. Ever since we did Avengers Disassembled, mm -hmm. I was like, well, it leads right into New Avengers. And I was kind of mulling uh, over, like, what we should do with New Avengers. Like, should we do all of it? That's dumb. I was going to say, is the New Avengers an event? Or no. Just it's just a book. Okay. And it's the team after... Disassembled. Disassembled. Yeah. So after they got rid of, like, the unsellables, they made the New Avengers. Right. You know, like, Jack... Of hearts. Yeah, thank you. I was like, <laughs> jack of all trades, that's not right. No, that's, that's, not, that's right. not a bad idea, though. Mm -hmm. uh, New Avengers was obviously the brainchild of Brian Michael Bendis, and uh, with art by David Finch, same creative team behind Disassembled. Bendis wrote it, Finch drew it, and his conceit was just like, why do the Avengers suck? Like, who gives a fuck about Hawkeye? Let's kill him in the fucking Kree ship. <laughs> who would have thought that, like, eventually nostalgia plus movie plus... Good writing would make Hawkeye interesting and relevant again. Yeah. Matt Fraction fucking took him to new heights. I thought you meant... would have never expected. Plus Jeremy Renner. Yeah. Jeremy Renner did a nice job with him. I think, yeah. uh, I think yeah. Hawkeye's cool. Especially Age Ultron. He finally gets his due. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's another show, so I don't want to mm. go into it. But, like, so New Avengers is just literally Ben is going, like, why do the Avengers suck? Who gives a shit? Why, why isn't Spider-Man on the Avengers? And they're like, because Spider-Man's a loner. Right. And he's like, so? He's not a loner? Yeah. He's a plucky teenager. Well, I not, mean, well, not in this, teenager. during New Avengers, he was a plucky 30-something. <laughs> but, yeah. like, he's personable. He can get yeah. along with people. I mean, most of the Avengers were loners until they were put on the Avengers, so... Yeah, well, the other thing is, uh, especially with Spider-Man, with that argument, they had a book called Marvel Team-Up, and it was called Marvel Team-Up, but it was just literally Spider-Man and another character. Like Spider-Man Namor team up. So he's actually known for teaming up. Yeah, he actually oh. has the most team ups ever. Whenever a book starts to sell like crap, put Spider-Man as a guest star in it. <laughs> like he's he, he printed money for a time. Well, plus he lives in New York. Yeah, and he's a solo act, so he's always going to be swinging by. Like Rhino can't break into every bank, yeah. so like sometimes he's going to be like, "Oh shit, look at that!" Like Hawkeye's rabbling some guys. Like Level jump in and help him out. I mean, it's because yeah. he had a secret identity. Yeah, that's the only reason why there's like well, he was a loner. Yeah. In his own book, where he didn't have allies. No. Now there are allies. Yeah. <clears throat> the other thing was, the Avengers were destroyed, and, like, there was a power vacuum. Uh, with this, this comes from two books, actually, all written by Bendis. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alias, which had Jessica Jones and Luke Cage, and actually, like, made Luke Cage interesting and relevant again. Mm -hmm. And uh, Disassembled. Uh, or, rather, the main Avengers title. Mm -hmm. uh, some background for this main story is that in Alias... There's this chick named Jessica Jones. She's a private detective. She's a hardcore bitch. And she used to be a superhero. And then she got her ass kicked by the Avengers because she was under the mind control of a douchebag supervillain named the Purple Man. Mm. The Purple Man's just mm. a douche nozzle who can control the minds of people. He usually uses them to, like, rape chicks and, like, take over and take money. Okay. Just a fucker all around. Uh, so, when, uh, but he appears in New Avengers. And it's awesome. Uh, because of what occurs. Mm. And, you know... I can you can guess <laughs> that like it doesn't end well for Purple Man, but <laughs> uh, yeah, but Purple Man comes back and like recaptures Jessica Jones. It's just real gross and real oh. terrible. Mm -hmm. And eventually, Luke Cage and Jessica Jones get together. As a spoiler for Alias, but whatever. Uh, well, I thought uh, in Alias they broke up. No, no, they they slept together and then she broke up with oh, broke up like stopped calling him and then she hooked up with Scott Lang of all people. Oh, and they hooked up. And then she dumped him, and then went back to Luke Cage. Okay. I mean, he's Ant Man. Who yeah, yeah, cares? That's true. Yeah. yeah. Well, he was also like portrayed as kind of a dick. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I like is. him a lot more in the uh, in the new Ant Man series that's going on. Yeah. And I'm sure we'll like him a lot more in the movie. But uh, Brett Bendis wrote him as kind of a douche. Just a tool. He's a tool. He's not okay. a douche. Yeah. <laughs> so Matt Murdock <laughs> and Foggy Nelson are going to the. Wait, uh, does Foggy know? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, yes, he does. So, of course. <laughs> is he all, like, butthurt about it like he is in the show? No. <laughs> no, he's not. Okay. Uh, they got over that a long time ago. Okay. So, they're in this uh, version of the Marvel Universe, there's a supervillain prison known as the Raft, which is not unlike Arkham Asylum in the games, where it's an island off the coast of Gotham. Mm -hmm. And this is an island off the coast of Manhattan, mm -hmm. and it's like Alcatraz, but for supervillains. And it's run by S.H.I.E.L.D., and it's really super high-tech and shit. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then Electro blows the fuck out of that's it. That's exactly what happens. Uh, Electro is hired by a shadowy figure. Wait, what? Uh, that's what happens. So, Whoa. like, uh, Electro is hired by a shadowy figure who offers him money to just 
commit a breakout because he's like the, the the shadowy figure is like the Avengers are dead. This is the time. Mm -hmm. My employer will help you out. And Electro's like, you got it. Blast a fucking hole in the prison. Yeah. And I love it because he frees all the prisoners and he's like, everybody, some of you guys might know who I am. If you don't, I'm Max Dillon Electro. Y'all owe me big time. <laughs> and then he leaves. Actually, that's not true. He grabs Carl Lycos, a also known as Sauron, the X-Men's villain who turns into a pterodactyl. <laughs> and then he leaves. Oh. Uh, and I think he takes him to the Savage Land. While that breakout takes place, Matt Murdock and Foggy Nelson have gone to the raft and, uh, Jessica Drew, a.k.a. Spider-Woman. She's not Spider-Woman at this point. She's already, like, kind of quit. It's Jessica Drew, not Jessica Jones. Right, Jessica Drew. Yeah, and they're all very similar. But, like, <laughs> Jessica Drew uh, is there as the S.H.I.E.L.D. liaison. Okay. Uh, because she's a Hydra agent and a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent and Spider-Woman. She's all over the place. Why is she a Hydra agent? She was, like, kind of controlled slash raised by Hydra a little oh, bit. okay. How many communicators does she have? Yeah, right? I think she only uses the one, and she just has them on, <laughs> on, uh, on Cole waiting. Is this Electro here? Yeah. Okay. It's wow. great because there's a moment where he's... Because he's just like, dressed like a, like a dude, and then he goes costume or no costume, and the, the, the shadowy figure's like, it's up to you. And he's like, oh, I'm dressing like Electro. It's <laughs> and so I'm cool. fucking costume. ridiculous. Uh, what's going on with MJ and Spider-Man here? They're married at this point. So it's pre-bullshit. Okay. Yeah, they're married and... Happily? Yeah. Yeah, they're okay. happy. I mean, so there's you know. no fucking drama. Anymore. No, there's no drama. It's just that they're they're together, and then Pete sees the lights go out, and he yeah. sees the the electricity blast out of the raft, and right. he's like, like oh. "I gotta go." <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so he goes, and uh, there's actually, I think Cap is being transported from New York to DC via helicopter or jet or whatever, and the jet is fucked up. Yeah. And uh, Spider Man is he web lined to the helicopter to get there and then like it goes down he goes down he like he like swims to the raft caps there and he's like okay it's you and me buddy we gotta fucking solve this problem and <laughs> spider-man's like yeah! yeah he's like oh boy <laughs> okay cat let's go fight a thousand super villains <laughs> first observation the art in this book is fucking killer yeah it's david finch he drew disassembled ah yeah it's super cool the faces are all kind of very similar but Awesome superheroics and love the color palette. It's all dark yeah. and it's raining. Matt and Foggy, Jessica Drew, and Luke Cage are going to the raft under the behest of Reed Richards. I think Richards hires uh, Matt to go visit an inmate on the raft. Uh, Luke Cage is there because he is and always will be hero for hire. Just a badass mofo with unbreakable skin and like sometimes teamed up with Iron Fist and they had this very like 70s. Uh, black exploitation kung fu <laughs> kind of movie thing going on. Gotcha. And uh, they were heroes for hire. You had the right price, you'd get two superheroes to have your back. And that was the idea. And Luke Cage, like to make ends meet, he's like, "Yeah, if you need a bodyguard or a bouncer or some shit, I'm Luke fucking Cage. I'll take you. I'll take you all down." <laughs> Imagine having them to be your entry past a bouncer. I know. Like, hire them to get into a club. Yeah. And the bouncer's like, "No," and they're like, "Yeah." Oh, it's Luke Cage. Go on, I'll say. <laughs> my, my apologies, sir. Mm -mm. Uh, so, yeah, so they get to the raft, and, uh, you know, shit goes down, and they're stuck down there, and of course all the cages are opened, and, you know, everyone who's down there is pretty much a superhero, but in no costume. Okay. And so, down below, in like the lowest, deepest, darkest sub-basement, are Daredevil, Spider-Woman, Luke Cage, and Foggy Nelson. And up top, you got Cap and Spider-Man. Okay. And uh, the issue here is they're going to see a guy named Robert Reynolds, who we've already established is the Sentry. Uh, the se but at this point, like, you've read the miniseries by Paul Jenkins. Not you, but, like, you. Right. And uh, that establishes, like, yes, there was a superhero named the Sentry, and they retconned him in as, like, a long-term... Right, like, he'd of, always been there. Yeah, he's always been there, but, like, then he... Because he's also the Void... His evil nemesis. Yeah. Uh, he uh, can't trust himself to use his powers, so he helps. He and Reed Richards help make the world forget that the Sentry ever existed. But in this story, the Sentry has committed himself to the raft because he killed his wife. Oh. His powers went out of control and he killed his wife. Okay, so it wasn't intentional. No. Did he kill his wife or did the Void kill his wife? He doesn't know. Oh. Well, I mean, does it make a difference? Because he's, he's both characters? I don't know. It's an know. interesting question. Yeah, it's very, it's very philosophical, but yeah. we don't have time to debate like it now. Multiple personality disorder. 
kill your wife or be the evil personality or whatever. Yeah, you're going to jail anyway. Well, yeah, you are. One of you is, but you're both going for the ride. Yeah. So, uh, then, um, so they're, yeah, they're like, we gotta deal with the Sentry, and wh- who is this dude, and why is he here? And the Sentry is just, he's dressed like the Sentry, but his, like, his costume's kind of tattered. Oh, so he got to keep his costume. Yeah, he's wearing his costume. He's like, I went camp voluntarily. Yeah, yeah, he did. He hit it himself. <laughs> and S.H.I.E.L.D.'s like, this dude's got crazy powers. Like, welcome. Like, you're in. Like, you, if you think that you deserve to be here, right. then you are getting a cell. But mm-hmm. you're here on your, of your own volition. Right. You, we they, can't... Then you get a cell with the bathroom. And right. Room. And <laughs> yeah, maybe the kitchen. They can't even prove <laughs> that he did kill his wife, because they don't know that he existed. And they're like, right. what wife? Yeah. Wait, why are you here? Yeah. Like, what? Okay, you say you killed your wife. You're going to jail. But, like, I don't have any real legal reason to <laughs> keep you here. I killed my wife! I don't care. Yeah. I don't <laughs> care! <laughs> But the shield does. They're like, okay, because it's shield. It's not like the. It's not jail. Right. Or the they're police. Not, they don't have yeah. any actual legal. They're like, yo, a superpower guy shows up and kills his wife. He goes and he wants to be here. Yeah. He gets a, a cell over there. When the lights go out, like Mister Hyde, who is actually a big character now on Agents of Shield. Yeah. He looks totally fucking different. Yeah. Uh, he shows up to like cause some shit. Carnage, Carnage is released. Is there. Yeah. I and uh, freaking out. and everyone's fucked. And Hydro Man, like, re- like, and he just starts filling the area with with himself. So they're all <laughs> drowning. Hydro Man. Yeah. Who is a Hydro Man? He's a Spider Man villain. Oh my god. You know Sandman? Yeah. That replace sand with water. Oh, why so does Spider Man have such shitty villains? <laughs> One time, the Sandman and Hydro Man teamed up, and they became Mud Man. Of course they did. Who controlled what? Yeah. It was hard to tell. And it was kind of gross. Cool. Spider-Man and Cap are fighting up topside, and, like, you know, Cap's like, wait, we have to wait for reinforcements, and Spider-Man's like, great power, I gotta go. Nice. So he, like, jumps into the hole, and it's filled with supervillains, and then they just pull him in, rip off his mask, and break his arm. Oh. Well, He's just probably, overpowered. Yeah, that's, that's no. fair. Listen to, listen to Captain America. Yeah. And, uh, Foggy is left in the dark with the Sentry, and he's like, I don't know who you are, but, like, Reed Richards says you got a lot of powers and you're a good guy. Could you keep me safe? Yeah, could you, like, stop all this from happening? So Sentry fucking eventually grabs Carnage, goes into space, and tears him in half. And then just throws his body away. Oh my god. And it was this so moment... So Carnage is done. Yeah, for now. For they now. bring him back later. But, like, at this point, for a long time, they were like, Fuck Carnage. We're never gonna tell another Carnage story again. Let's let's prove how cool Sentry is by having him just rip Carnage in half. <laughs> like he solves the problem. Right. So the and he has no problem with killing. Yeah. No. So then the superheroes, like the other guys downstairs, team up with the guys upstairs, and it, this breakout is going out of control. And Luke Cage is tearing ass, and fucking Iron Man shows up, and he's like ripping ass. Yeah, he's yeah. ripping ass and leaving. Uh, so uh, Iron Man shows up, and he's like, "Hey, Cap." And Cap's like, "Yeah, you shouldn't have disbanded the Avengers." And like yeah. Iron Man's like, "Yeah, really, you." Just being of the Avengers, yeah. like, and, uh... And I then, mean, we're setting ground here. Yeah. And there's this moment where Purple Man just is leaning against, like, a, a wall, eating an apple. And he's like, hey, Luke, <laughs> listen, I need you to kill all your little friends over there. And he also says, and kill yourself. And, get, and then kill yourself. So, uh, but the idea here is that, like, every supervillain that's in the raft is doped up. Oh. And that includes Purple Man. So when Luke Cage comes, like, he, he's basically like, so you know how, like, everyone's all loaded up with drugs? Yeah, that means your powers don't work anymore. <laughs> and Purple Man's like, well, then I'm fucked. <laughs> because my power literally is just talking at people. Well, then you're going to kill me. And, and Luke Cage just beats him without mercy. <laughs> and Cap's like, okay, okay, you got him. You got him. Yeah. I, I, I get it. Right. Oh, jeez, yeah. The Sentry and S.H.I.E.L.D. show up, and I think there's a number, and I can't remember what the number was. It's like in the tens, like like 40-something. Uh, villains have escaped, and the rest okay. they contained. Who's this? That's Spider Woman. Oh, okay. She can fly a little bit, and has a Venom Blast, where she shoots, like, oh. energy. Okay. So, yeah. And then, uh, on board the S.H.I.E.L.D. helicarrier, Cap is like, we got a message from God that says we have to re re put together the Avengers. <laughs> like he doesn't say God, he's right. basically like like but destiny destiny brought this yeah. this team together. Just like yeah. the original Avengers were formed because uh, like necessity birthed them. This is a new world with a new team of Avengers. So I'm putting the Avengers back together. 
Okay. And Iron Man's like, I'm not bankrolling the Avengers anymore. And Cap's like, I don't care. We never needed money. We're just superheroes who team up and help people. That's what we do. Right. And so... Then You're the next, not creating a brand here. Yeah. <laughs> we already have the brand. We just... We're, we're, like, we're not merchandising. No, it's true. Although they probably a, do. You don't have to put us through, like, commercials. Yeah. They always do a press conference, though. So... Uh, Who's Cap- the PR person? I don't know. I think just, they are. He's called up a news people. He's just like, hey, we're going to do a conference. And all the news people are like, ah! Ah! Yeah. Yeah. I think it's usually it's like Captain America calls. And he's like, we're doing a press conference. Oh, Captain America just called. <laughs> so uh, then the next couple of issues are just are just Cap like going to find everyone who was part of the team or who was, who was brought together that time. Okay. And said like, you're an Avenger now. And everyone says yes, but Daredevil. Uh, Daredevil. Because Daredevil's like, I don't know what you're talking about. No. My name's Matt Murdock. <laughs> yeah. No, Daredevil's like, my life is so fucked, and I am such a fucking magnet for problems that I, I, you do not want me on your team. Right. And Cap's like, that's a pretty shitty excuse. And Daredevil's like, well, that's the one I'm giving you. So oh, he doesn't get yeah. Daredevil. Uh, but he does get everyone else. Including, and the first one he gets is Spider-Man. Okay. And the last one he gets is, I think, Luke Cage. He gets Spider-Man. No, it's, it's Jessica Drew. He's just like, but stay at home. You got a broken arm. Yeah. No, his healing factor helps him. Oh, nice. But he's, he's, it's still a slow. Uh, so he asks Jessica Drew, and Jessica Drew, of course, is their shield liaison. He's like, you could be our shield liaison. I'm like, that'll be, you'll be our bridge to shield. That'll be great. And she's kind of gotten reprimanded because she totally failed to contain this breakout. Okay. She was the commanding officer, and oh. she totally failed. Okay. Also, she's a scroll. So, uh... God <laughs> oh, damn it. But you don't know. <laughs> you don't know that. No, you don't know that until Secret Invasion. But I revealed that in Do our last episode. Do writers even know it? Bendis knows, because oh. he's been writing Secret Invasion for, uh, since this time. Since yeah. since Disassembled. There are Skrulls in Disassembled. In fact, the, the shadowy figure that hires Electro is Skrull Electra. Oh. She's not, she doesn't show that she's a Skrull. But right. It's but, Electra yeah, you find who is a Skrull. So the breakout was actually orchestrated by the Skrulls? That's the whole thing. Hmm. Why? I don't know. You know... That, that way you oh, can, to fuck up some shit. Well, no, that Just way you can release little, the yeah. villains, and then, like, the Skrulls can capture them, and then infiltrate as them. Or right. Something. I mean, that actually does, yeah, they do kind of do that. So, uh, yeah. Um, so then they wind up getting a call from Tony Stark, who introduces them to Stark Tower. Now, Stark Tower was introduced in Avengers, the movie. Okay. And you'd think that that's, like, a long-standing thing, but no. In fact, like, Stark Tower is created in New Avengers. Okay. Like, huh. Avengers Tower, his Stark Tower, that yeah. was created in 2005. Okay. And it's been around since just then. Like, just right. ten years it's been okay. around. And it's kind of really awesome and makes a lot of sense. Because originally, Avengers used to congregate in a, in, a, in a mansion. And that mansion got blown the fuck up right. by a Quinjet and shit. Right. Uh, but, and, yeah, and before that, it was a Denny's. <laughs> yeah, the Avengers used to meet at a Denny's. <laughs> it was kind of a cramped little experience. Yeah, but they got pancakes. That's pretty nice. I think Jarvis will make pancakes now. So, uh, the event, so Stark's like, okay, I'm not bankrolling the Avengers, but you can keep the top, like, five floors of my tower. Like, you can use that. Right. And they can all, like, live there and shit. So. It seems like it's just like, we'll do that. Because I want to keep an eye on it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. Uh, so Jessica Drew becomes Spider Woman for the first time in a long time. Does Tony join? Yeah, Tony joins too. He's like, yeah, okay. Like, because Cap and Tony are talking about like the Avengers, and Tony's like, it's a really bad idea. Let's not bring the Avengers back together. And, Cap, and, I, and Cap's like, I, I don't need your fucking approval, buddy. Right. Like, I'm well, telling you, team. yeah, I, I would love you on my side, but like the, the deal is, like, I'm getting the team. Yeah. And if you're not going to be a part of it, fine. That's not going to stop me from getting the team. Exactly. And so Stark's like, all right. Is this Captain America? Yeah. Why does he look like an asshole football player? Because that's Chuck. how David Finch draws him. Oh, Jesus. I know. He looks like such a douche. He does. He looks like a bad guy. <laughs> he looks like a poster boy either for the Aryan race during the Nazi time. Yeah. Or yeah. for America during the war as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's like a Superman. Yeah. An Uber but an Uberman. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, there's some great banter in here. Yeah, Luke Cage says, uh, Spider-Man, Spider-Woman, you guys related? No. No. <laughs> Will you give her powers or something? No. She's totally unrelated to me in any way. So she ripped off your name. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I'm a man. I, I'm surprised that she doesn't be like, hey, throws oh. her hands up. That is what she says. <laughs> she says, hey, you said it was okay. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I told you to keep it. That's a franchise. And there's like five of you now. <laughs> that's, that's, that's for people who are confused. About yeah, like, so wait, there's, there are how many Spider-Man are there? There's like five of them. There's like five. Try to keep up. Yeah. 
So then the Stark is like, okay, so we should get to, to work. These are the amount of supervillains that are missing, and okay. we need to start like worrying about containment. So here's the next several books worth of storylines. Yes, except it's not. So they're oh. like, so what, like who started it? And they're like, okay, it was Max Steel and Electro. And so they're like, okay, well, we'll just go find Electro, and we'll make him tell us what... Like, who hired him and figured out. We'll beat so him they, until he tells us. So they go to Boston, and, like, Max Dillon's trying to get his girlfriend to, like, run away with him with the money he got. Okay. And she doesn't, and they catch him. <laughs> and it's great, because, like, Iron Man puts him in this, like, electricity bubble. Oh, jeez. And the team is, like, these pe- these street-level superheroes who are, like, never met each other or hang out. So they're just like, all right, we got, now what do we do? <laughs> Uh, and like, well, normally I would web him and like leave him somewhere. Yeah, like yeah. Luke's, I, Luke says to Spider-Man, like, "What do you do?" And he goes, "Well, normally I web my hands because I don't want to get electricity on me." And like, I punch him until he tells me what I want to know. And then Luke goes, "Do me up." <laughs> <laughs> and so Spider-Man webs his hands and he goes, "Open the bubble." <laughs> and then Dylan faints. Oh and they're my like, God, "That's awesome." Yeah, and, like this book does an amazing job of just pulling you the fuck in. Yeah. So then. Fucking, um... He's supposed to blur down a name, not faint like a wuss. <laughs> and then he goes, so, okay, take these webs off. Oh, no, I can't take them off. They dissolve after an hour. He goes, no, but for real, how do I do it? And he's like, no, your webs are now mitts. For, your hands are now mitts for, like, the next hour. Well, what do you do? I just wait an hour. Yeah, well, well usually... Spider-Man, they come well, off me. The, the fight takes about an hour. <laughs> oh. So, uh, Drew calls up, like, her contacts, and she goes back to, like... The holding cells where like most of the guys are are are, uh, are being held. Uh-huh. Uh huh. They're they're being held on Rikers Island, and like the ones that aren't like shooting lasers out of their fucking eyes and shit. Right. And she goes, "Okay, everybody, you're all gonna be here twenty lifetimes. No one's going anywhere. And now that I'm a superhero again, and I gotta wear one of these ridiculous costumes. I have this big box of donuts that I can't eat anymore." So, who uh, wants to tell me who Max Dillon left with when uh, the breakup? And they're like, it was kind of like this. Oh, Christ, just give me a donut. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So then they figure Carl out, like, like okay, like it's Carl Lycos, it's Sauron, he's going to the Savage Land, we gotta go to the Savage Land. I mean, if they're Krispy Kreme donuts, I can understand. I know. They look good. They're in a big, they're like, they look like Homer Simpson donuts. Like, they're in a pink yep. box. Yeah. If, if there are no sprinkles or frosting, I'm no, like, they look like, why? They look like glazed. Like plain glazed. They, they could be Krispy Kremes then. Yeah. Probably Krispy Kremes. Yeah. And one of the tropes with the Savage Land, because, you know, Savage Land is like this hidden jungle in the Arctic. Yeah. That, like, when you go there, your powers don't work. So, like, Professor X can walk, and Magneto and Professor X are friends, usually, in the Savage Land. In the X-Men animated series, there was, like, a whole season's worth of stories where, like, the PS to every episode was Professor X and Magneto in the Savage Land. Magneto actually wound up, like... Going to Savage Land and like taming the native inhabitants and like teaching oh them my shit. Because like the people who live there are called mutates. They're not mutants. They're mutates. And like they're kind of like manipulated by Magneto and shit. So like he he, did, he was doing some rough shit in the Savage Land back then. Right. And uh, so, so does he like become like their leader? Yeah. Like their god. But then he abandons them because he's like, oh well, I gotta go fight the X Men. Bye, Magic City in the, in the Arctic. And well, that like, was fun ah! for a while. Yeah, well, that was fun for a while. But now I gotta go. Yeah, later. And they're like, wait, but you're our god. And he's like, yeah, and I've abandoned you, so learn yeah. a lesson. <laughs> and uh, Well, then maybe you should do a little better, jo- little better job picking gut. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or maybe you should be better disciples. <laughs> so, oh, by the way, like... I uh, think it should be like, well, I'm god, so, you know, deal with it. Yeah, so, later. Uh, they, I'll be back. So they, uh, so Spider-Man's like, okay, one of the deals with the Savage Land, one of the tropes with the Savage Land is, no one just goes to the Savage Land. Whenever you get there, you crash. You're stranded in the Savage Land. The Savage Land is a annoying place full of dinosaurs and crap. right and Kazar and uh, Kazar is a like a like a man like a he-man kind of character okay I was gonna say and Sauron yeah and Sauron the fucking pterodactyl man so uh, Iron Man's like this Quinjet doesn't crash like I don't crash Quinjets they're a billion dollars a piece <laughs> like, it's not gonna crash so Spider-Man's like okay tell Mr. Iron Man who's, I've been the seven like a dozen times whatever <laughs> so they get to the Savage Land, they land, and Spider-Man's like, oh shit. And then something blows it the fuck up. <laughs> damn it. And he's like, I told you. And then they get attacked by a dinosaur. Of course. They do. And, uh, you know, and their powers don't work, except Iron Man has but a Iron suit. Iron Man's got a suit. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. And then, uh... Well, I mean, Cap doesn't have powers, he's a super soldier. Right, he's a super soldier, so he's okay too. But, uh, <laughs> so then 
Wolverine appears because he's tracking shit going on in Savage Land 2. How do you track things? He doesn't have his smell sense anymore. That's yeah, 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 except actually he goes. Yeah, Wolverine. Wolverine's been in Savage Land a whole bunch of times. Probably as many times as Spider-Man, although Spider-Man doesn't lose his power. Oh, Slo- Spider-Man does lose his powers. Wolverine doesn't. Yeah. So I don't know what's going on with that. Well, I mean, you don't lose your power if you're a mutant. Maybe. Except you do, because Magneto yeah, and Professor X lose their powers. Yeah. Well, Professor X's power was the ability to not walk. <laughs> his mental powers! <laughs> I was going to say, well, maybe Wolverine doesn't have his powers, he just has his adamantium skeleton, but no. He would die. Yeah, he gets stabbed in the neck by his own claws. And he does so. grow back. Yeah. Uh, I love it, too, because he attacks... It shows It shows a moment where like Jessica Drew's such a badass. Because mm-hmm. Logan is, like, snicked, and she fucking grabs his hand and then stabs him in the neck with his own fucking claws. <laughs> and then blasts him in the face with her, like, electricity venom blast powers. <laughs> and like, whoa, it's Wolverine. And he's like, you bitch. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. And they're like, what are you doing here, Wolverine? And he's like, I was tracking Sauron because he's an X-Men villain. <laughs> and they're like, oh, okay. So he's then, one of my villains. Yeah, so then they like, okay, well, let's go. And I love it because they're all like superheroes and they all got their silly superhero costumes and Luke Cage is wearing like a t-shirt and a jacket and a snow cap. Like, he just looks like a dude. <laughs> and he wears that outfit pretty much their whole series. He it's, never gets a costume. He's in the jungle, he's wearing a knit hat. <laughs> it's, yeah, right. he wears look, a wool it's cap. his look. <laughs> yeah, it's probably, it's probably a good balmy 85 degrees with 100% <laughs> humidity. You're going to need a wool cap. In Spider-Man history, at this point, Spider-Man turned into a spider and then was reborn out of the spider. Right. And he got organic webbing so that people who are watching the Tobey Maguire movie wouldn't get confused when he had organic webbing. No. Yeah. That was... And that was during Avengers Disassembled, actually. Great decision. Yeah. Fucking dumb. But no one who wasn't an editor at Marvel liked it. And uh, they had to do it because that was the way it is. And so there's a moment when they all have no powers, and they're all announcing they have no powers, and Spider-Man says, yeah, and my creepy organic webbing also doesn't work. <laughs> my creepy organic And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I don't like your powers either. Like, that's dumb. So then, um, Sauron captures them all. No, uh, another villain who works with Sauron captures them all. Uh, so, like, and they're all there, and Sauron's like, okay, you have to go kill all these guys. There are the Avengers, S.H.I.E.L.D. and the Avengers, and more Avengers are going to come, and they're going to fucking ruin everything. And the other guy who, like, captured them, whose name escapes me at the moment, but he's irrelevant, who cares? Right. He's, like, leader of the mutates at this point. He's like, think of the things we could learn from them, we could extract their powers. He goes, no, just kill them. Don't explain your nefarious scheme, <laughs> don't extract their powers, don't turn them into duplicates, just kill them now, and then fucking some shit goes down. Uh, which is to say that Iron Man is like, okay, I've had enough, and his suit fucking shows up, and it's like this like tank, and it just starts firing <laughs> at them, uh, uh. and it frees them, and then they just like kick the shit out of the bad guys. Yay. Um, but, and you think that's the, kind of the end of it, but like, the other thing is like, who hired Electro, and what are we doing in the Savage Land, and like, what's happening anyway? And why does Wolverine still have his powers in the Savage Land? Yeah, well, that never gets addressed. Uh, that's just a, uh, 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 don't get technical with me. So, uh, th- what's actually happening in the Savage Land is Sauron and a bunch of other assholes are kind of like heading up this illegal vibranium salvage operation. Wait, they- there's vibranium in the Savage Land? There is a vibranium. Well, in the if you land. salvage it from other stuff. Yeah, well, th- th- there there are mines. Oh, there's also mines. And oh, ugh, it's so funny. So fucking so. Oh, so, by the way, Sauron's powers are he can turn into a pterodactyl and he can hypnotize you. This hypnotized dinosaur right, powers. You get them. Yeah, and I love it. Yeah, you know, just... like Hiss in uh, Robin Hood, the animated movie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like the <laughs> fucking it's Naga or whatever his name is. No, it was uh, Sir Hiss. Yeah, yeah. the fucking snake. So fucking Sauron's like, you done it now because Sauron's here, and then he gets assassinated. <laughs> yeah. Boom! Gets a uh, headshot. He was said, I was brought here for a reason. I was brought here for blam. And then a... He was just about to explain the whole thing. Yeah. He was just about to wait a two seconds. No, and then uh, a couple of S.H.I.E.L.D. agents are there, and they're like, everyone's going to die. You're all fucked. And you're like, what? S.H.I.E.L.D.? What? And, in fact, one of the S.H.I.E.L.D. agents is Yelena Bella Lova or whatever, and she's a Black Widow. She's not the Black Widow, wow. the one we know. She's another Black Widow. That 
is around if you know comics, but like whatever. She, the point is, she's a. They actually explain it because they're like, uh, <laughs> like Spider Man's like, I know Black Widow. Uh, she's a hot redhead with huge boobs. And they're like, no, this is another Black Widow. There's two Black Widows. Well, there, right. There's a lot of Black Widows. Black Widow is in a. Yeah, it's. Yeah. There's, there's, there's a lot of Black rank. Widow. This, this is also. There's another Russian person. There's another Russian hottie who was transformed into, killing, into a killing machine. But this one's blonde. But works for Shield. Yeah, this one's a dick. She is a, she is a Shield agent, but she's also like on the take. Oh. Because as it turns out, Shield, or rather, it looks like Shield has been to the Savage Land, enslaved the mutates, and forced them to mine vibranium. Oh my god! For Shield, and wow. so yes. yeah, it's totally fucked and really bizarre. Well, like that's not cool. It's no. not. The free world. It's not where anyone really notices your visit. That's so, the thing. So like, Shield's kind of like barely oh. human beings. Yeah, they're not even called humans. They're called mutants. Yeah. I mean, we might as well take the vibranium. Yeah. Basically and we might as well animals. get them to take it for us. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so Sauron and Tony Stark's like that was a good plan. Yeah. I also forgot Sauron also can absorb mutant powers, kind of like Rogue. Oh. Mm-hmm. I always thought, and this is just from the cartoon show. This is mm-hmm. all, all the knowledge. That's I have. fair. That's I thought when Sauron, as a human, when he absorbed another human's energy. That would just sustain sustain him. Mm-hmm. But when he absorbed a mutant's energy, it would just turn him into Sauron, not that he would get their power. Right, well, and that could be the case. But in this, he absorbed Wolverine's mutant healing factor, so when he got assassinated, he just regrew he just his regenerated. brain or whatever. God and damn it. When they, I would have been really happy if Sauron just stayed dead. I know, and like, died. you really, like, he dies in the last issue, and you're like, oh, they literally just killed Carnage like two issues earlier, so like, Fine, kill Sauron. Who gives a shit about Sauron? Yeah. fucking third act of As long as we're cleaning the house. Yeah, move on. Yeah, but actually neither of them died. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Iron Man winds up using his armor to like, as a magnet, and he pulls all the weapons away from all the, ro- all these, this like, this shield faction. Okay. And uh, it's great, because like, Black Widow is, she's like, stand down everybody, I'm S.H.I.E.L.D. and you're all... And Jessica Drew is like, uh, more like you stand the fuck down, I am a member of S.H.I.E.L.D., and this is not an approved... Like action, and I'm gonna fucking kill you. And she turns her fucking venom blast on. And she's like pushing it in her nose, and oh, she's like, "I'm shit. gonna fucking tickle your brain." Uh, and you're like, "Whoa, uh, that's insane!" And you think that things that like Black Widow's gonna talk, and she's gonna spill her beans, spill the beans, spill, spill her guts, or the beans, or the beans, yeah. But then Sauron goes back to life, and then shoots fire and burns her alive. Oh shit! Burns Black Widow alive. Yeah. So now she can't talk either. So like Sauron got shut up because he got assassinated by Black Widow. So then he was like, "Hey, you can assassinate me!" More. <laughs> Look at Sensor on fire, and then he flies away. Ah. Uh. And they're like, "Shit!" So they they find this mine, and they're like, "What are we gonna do? Like about these people? We gotta fucking we gotta go down there. We gotta kick the shit out of the guys who are subjugating them." And we gotta go. And then and then Tony Stark's like, yeah, we also have to get all that fire. Yeah, we gotta get that fire. Yeah. No. So then a shield helicarrier well, shows up. Well, I mean, they already up. dug it up. I mean, I mean it's all right. What? It's, I mean, all the fire is is right there. Yeah. So then spider man spider sense goes off. Iron Man uh, is like, oh, shit, because he's got the sensors going. And this fucking shield helicarrier shows up. So spider Man's Spider-Sense mm. also still works. Yeah, the powers came back. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you missed it. The- the power the yeah, yeah, they came back. back. So the shield herald carrier shows up, and then it just blows up the mining operation, killing everyone involved. All the subjugators, all the shield agents, oh, all the sh- mutates, everyone. And everyone Wait. on the Avengers survives because Iron Man threw up yeah. like a fucking like shield Ooh, thing. thing. Yeah. So Shield killed everyone. Wow. And then picks them up. And Captain America's like, you all are going fucking down. Uh. And Maria Hill, who is put in charge of S.H.I.E.L.D. because after Disassembled, Nick Fury went off the grid. Actually, no, it was after Secret War, which we also did on back issues. I think it's true. <laughs> uh, so Maria Hill took over, and you already don't like her because she's kind of a bitch. Yeah. And I said, like, in the description, I meant to click the annotation. There you go. This is why you don't do that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so, uh, Maria Hill is like, you already don't trust her, you don't like her, mm-hmm. and she just kills these people. And Cap's like, what the fuck? And she's like, well, you know, like, according to our censors, like, an illegal shield operation was going on, and everyone involved was, like, culpable. culpable. Yeah. So, like, protocol says, and like, and how about fucking try to murder us, too? And she's like, according to, like, you didn't tell us you were going to be in the Savage Land. Uh-huh. And they're like, yeah, that's sketchy. Yeah, but what about all the, like, innocent, like, mutates that Oh, fuck them. I mean, once again, they don't matter. They're not humans. They're mutates. Yeah. yeah but no. No. <laughs> I know. It's really, like, 
And this also, are they bipedal? <laughs> yes. Oh. Well, well, I mean, do they look like people? It's, yeah, some of yeah. them. Oh, well, I mean, they can't talk, right? Actually, they do. Oh. I'm starting oh. to feel a little bit worse about this. Mm. Yeah. D- maybe there weren't any there. Maybe it was just... The no, they were, because they were like, holy shit, look at these people being forced into labor. Oh. oh. So, uh... <laughs> So Maria Hill is a bitch. So Maria Hill's a bitch. And then Wolverine's like, so what is all this? Like with Luke Cage and Spider-Man. Right. And Iron Man goes, oh, we're the Avengers. You want to be an Avenger? Since and, you're here. And Cap goes, no. No, Wolverine can't be an Avenger. He's a murdering asshole. What? And, and Iron Man's like, yeah, but like, we could use a murdering asshole on the team. Because <laughs> like, because I don't know if you've heard this before, but Wolverine's the best there is at what he does. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Until, you know, Spider-Woman Spider-Man. grabs his arm and stabs him in the neck. Yeah, so, unless... You know, well, maybe what he needed done then was, like, uh... Being put in his place. Yeah. yeah. And I'm the best at being put in my place. Yeah, yeah. he sure is. Yeah. So, uh... Begrudgingly, Captain America accepts or acquiesces to Iron Man's decision. Iron Man's like, Cap, you got to pick the whole damn roster. Yeah. Well, I say Wolverine. I want Wolverine. I get one guy and it's Wolverine. And that's kind of like Bendis being like... You readers, like, I know that you think it's dumb, but, like, you know, I want Wolverine on the team, because Wolverine's cool, and he'll sell a thousand percent more books. That's why. And What so, about the X-Men? He's just gonna be like, nah. No, he, he's on both Fuck teams. Him. Oh. He's like, yeah, I can do that. Later on in... You know, when, their bases are in two physically different places, though. Look, right? I stole yeah. Scott's car, it drives really fast. No, they have, uh, they use, he's, he uses, like, Quinjets and Blackbirds. Oh. Like, you know, he's just like, yeah, I'll just stop playing. So what happens if both teams need him at the same time? Who does he pick? Usually the X-Men. No. I mean, why does he have to pick? They're different books. Yeah. How about... They, they don't happen at the same It happened time. 20 totally minutes apart. Separate. Yeah. So, but yeah. I imagine... Problems with shared universes. I imagine Tony Stark heard Captain, uh, Captain America say, no, not Wolverine. He just goes, yeah, I'm going to say I want Wolverine. Yeah. yeah just oh, you don't yeah. want him? Oh. No, he yeah. says Wolverine. He says, I want you. And then Cap's like, no! Such a bad idea. Oh, okay. No. And we can see like, okay. why things don't necessarily go so well for mm-hmm. uh, Tony Stark and uh, Captain Cap. America. Yeah, yeah, they're already, you know, can't agree on how to do this new Avengers thing. Yeah. And fucking, what's his name? And, uh, and Cap is like, we have to avenge these people who were killed by S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh. Like, this is what we do. Okay. And then they never do. Now, okay... These are the new Avengers. Yes. Now, simultaneously, there's other Avengers, right? After no. After Avengers Assembled? No. After okay. Avengers Assembled, they canceled the book, oh. and then they brought out new Avengers. And then the new Avengers existed, and I was like, this is really cool, and it was running pretty well, and they had like a bunch of different arcs. The next arc, I think, is Sentry, or it's Ronin. But it's, either way... It's at the end of this, and then not the Sentry. Who okay, is so the Sentry? Who is the Sentry? So yeah. the next issue is... Because they... Cause, by the Wait, way, we know who Sentry is. Well, they well, don't. They, they don't know who Sentry is. I'll we find do, out later. We, if you read the miniseries, you know who the, the, the Sentry is. But if you're me and you pick up a new Avengers, you're like, who the hell's the Superman guy? Uh, but yeah, you don't know. And so they 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 do a whole arc where they are like, okay, now we got to deal with this powerhouse that is, I guess, part of the team. <laughs> He's not on the team right now. At some point, when they go to the uh, the Savage Land, one of them's like, how come we didn't bring the guy who stopped the breakout? And like. Eh, <laughs> and that's yeah, yeah. a lot of yeah in this book yeah. a lot of fun quippy dialogue cool team fun characters but a lot of yeah, yeah. and you know what seems like fun. the writers yeah, are having fun yeah it seems that's a lot it. like it's just having a lot of the fun the new movies yes yeah, yeah fuck you yeah I'm just having fun making mm-hmm. jokes don't don't think yeah, too hard exactly uh, so the next story is the century and the next story is Ronin and Ronin I guess was this guy on the cover when they had all these solicits. They released oh, yeah. like, all, like this whole roster. I was going to ask who who's this bubbleheaded guy. Yeah. They didn't really know, and there wasn't a lot of direction about who to draw. So oh, they drew that God. guy. So he wasn't even a character. Never appears in the whole series. Never he- appears in the Marvel universe. This character that you see on this cover. That's no, no, no. That's the Doctor from Hellboy Two. Oh my God. <laughs> That's totally him. He's yeah. among other things. He's just yes. a big s- smoke suit. Or he's like, or he's like ultimate Mysterio. <laughs> when is this guy gonna show up? And he never fucking does. Instead, they bring in like a ninja guy. And the ninja guy is funny because Ronin was just a story where they're like, uh, their their trail leads them to Japan, and they wind up like hooking up with uh, Silver Samurai, who appeared in the Wolverine. Mm. And uh, the the Wolverine, or I'm sorry, the, the Silver Samurai is dealing with. 
with with uh, with the hand, the ninja assassin right. group, mm-hmm. and there's all this shit going on. And Ronan is this random, cool looking dude that never existed before, who's like this ninja person, and he helps them out. And it's clearly Daredevil. <laughs> and Dare like the idea was that Daredevil created like another alternative. Personality to like be on the team, but not drag them down by being Daredevil. Oh! But everyone guessed it was Daredevil, so then Bendis just changed it to somebody else. Oh! Uh, okay. Like in the last issue when he takes right. off his mask, it's Maya Lopez Echo, and she's wearing a man suit. Oh my god! Like the reason why so- Ronan has like a bulge and looks like muscular and shit is because she's w- it's because she wants people to think it's a man right. because. Really what happened was the readers all on the internet guessed it was Daredevil immediately. Right. And he's like, no. Well, no. Then, well, I bet you didn't see well, this then, guy. Yeah. No. No. Actually. Well, actually. Uh, it's not. It's, it's, uh, it's, you know? it's Echo. Yeah. In a, in a man suit. It's Echo the whole time. I can't let them think that they can do my job. Yeah. <laughs> it's Echo the whole time. By the way, the I like the idea that it's Echo because at this point there's only one girl on the team. Yeah. So it was nice to have, that said, would have liked to see Daredevil on the team. Yeah. Daredevil wouldn't join the team until... Fear it fucking self. It also makes a whole lot of sense that he's fighting the hand. Yes. Well, also, they clearly, like, alluded to the fact that Daredevil would be joining the team. Oh, they, when Cap is like, join the team! When they make like, a I huge can't. point of putting him rejecting being on the team in the first book. I know. Like, what no, was it, the point of that if he wasn't going to be on the team? Yeah, the like, point of that is it would have been cool to have Daredevil on the team, but we don't, okay? So now it's Ronan, all yeah. right? And Ronan's Echo. And then, by the way, later they just go, like, ah, fuck it. And then she just takes off the stupid costume and then she's, e- and she echoes on the team. And Hawkeye, after he came back to life after House of M, he was, like, displaced and sad and he didn't really feel like he could be Hawkeye. And he also met, um, Kate Bishop and she, she was being really good at Hawkeye. So he's like, eh, I'll be Ronan. What? So then Hawkeye becomes Ronan. Someone's gotta be Ronan. Wait, someone's gotta be Ronan. Ronan. Always be does he Ronan. still use yeah. a bow and arrow? No. What the hell does he do? Well, because they retcon in the idea that when Captain America fought and he joined the Avengers, and Hawkeye joined the Avengers, Cap, there's this scene where Cap is like a drill sergeant, and he's got the Avengers all lined up, and he's like, your powers mean nothing. You have no powers. Not on this team. Like, you're all a bunch of losers who don't know what you're doing. If you rely on your powers, you're dead. We're at a war every day. I'm going to train you to do the best you possibly can. And there's actually a scene in uh, New Avengers, the Illuminati, when the Skrulls capture the Illuminati... And they take Tony Stark out of the armor, and they fucking screw up the armor. The scrolls go, and they're like, it's just a dude. And then Iron Man kicks the shit out of them with some fucking Tybo shit. Uh, and he's like, thanks for the lessons, Cap. And you're like, oh, like Captain America like taught Iron Man a thing or two. But in that, like, there's a moment where fucking oh, Hawkeye's being Hawkeye. He's like, yeah, well, I'll take my trusty bow over your fancy schmancy moves any day of the week. And Cap goes, it's a nice bow. May I? And he's like, sure. And then he cracks it. <laughs> and then he beats his ass and pushes his face in the ground. Oh my god. And he's like, one day, when we're done, the bow will be the thing you're least known for. Whoa. And then he's like, yeah, I don't need the bow. And it's after Cap dies. So he's like, in memory of Cap, I'm going to use the skills that Cap gave me. And I'm just going to be a badass. Okay. So he's like nunchucks and shit. All right. Well, and it's like, all right, sense. fine. For a while, and then he... And then later and then he's like, grabs ah, the nunchucks and breaks them apart. Yeah, like, he's like, one oh. day... Yeah. The nunchucks will be the thing you're least known for, Hawkeye. I mean, Ronin. Or yeah, whatever. but no, I am still known for the bow. Yeah, no, but I'm... <laughs> Despite what... That said, say. I'm really good at that, though. Yeah. Like, I can kick ass, but, like, as much as anyone else. Yeah. Like, a lot. Yeah. yeah. It was cool when you said, Cap, that, like, I would be least known for the bow, but... But in reality, I won't. But my, my call sign is Hawkeye. I mean, yeah. I literally and can do that. fans will always... Will always know me as Hawkeye. Well, I mean... No fan is like... His... I prefer the Ronin days. Hawkeye <laughs> could be anything. Except I mean, no, it's not like his name is Bowstring. No, it's... Yeah, he's yeah. not Quiver. No. Like, or Purple Arrow. Yeah. Well, <laughs> in Avengers JLA, they call him that. They're like, hey, what about Purple Arrow? Should we... <laughs> and he's like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> uh... Green Arrow's a tool! I'm Hawkeye! I don't just shoot arrows, I can shoot anything and be really yeah, good at it. I have good eyesight. That's my thing. I'm a exactly. Hawkeye. Yeah. Or I'm a great you? mark. Yeah. I'm not oh, Bullseye. I like Bullseye. No! no. <laughs> Bullseye's a monster. It's totally different. <laughs> but I also never... But, but you always hit the Bullseye, right? Technically, I would be able to kill him. Anyway, let's move on. Isn't <laughs> <laughs> Kronos destroying the universe? <laughs> so yeah, New Avengers, this is like the first arc. And okay. then the next arc is... And it's funny because the arc changes completely. Like, uh, Actually, I think what happens is because the next arc is Sentry, and then the arc after that's Ronin, and... The Sentry's drawn by Steve McNiven, who drew Civil War and Old Man Logan and shit, which is it still looks great. Mm-hmm. Um, but then the next arc is Ronan. Nothing to do with the last arc. 
Oh. Even in, in Ronin, by the way, Sandra doesn't come with them. So I think what happened was, after issues uh, six or whatever, I think this is six issues, Yeah. Um, Bendis gives David Finch the script for, <laughs> like, four issues later. He's like, go for it. So that this book came out right on time. Okay. Uh, because most of the arcs are incongruous with each other. Right. They're... That, Yeah. They uh, depend on each other because that way they can be written simultaneously. And yes. And yeah. Bendis, like, writes ahead of time a lot. Because like, he's just like, ah, fuck it. Like, and then he just goes, here's the scripts. Right. See you later. I'm going to go write six more books. And clearly, you he has this idea of where things are going, but it's not all there. No, because, because he, he could change. Randomly change Daredevil. At the last into, minute. Yeah, into uh, Echo. Yeah. So it's really not... It's really not, like... The well-oiled mach- machine, this machine that that he would like you to think it is. Believe. No, it's yeah. true. That's it. I really, I this is the book that got me reading Avengers as a title. Like I never read Avengers. Oh, well, I all right, I did, but like not when it came out. Like it wasn't like monthly buy right, Avengers. Right. So you were like buying trades, I guess. I was. I was reading trades. Uh, friends had them. Um, I had a couple of leftover issues. I would fill in the gaps between Avenger stories. Mm-hmm. Um, these are the big arcs, you know, and then later on, like, at, like in 2005, 2006, after New Avengers, I was like, they would refer to legacies and shit. After Dissemble, I was like, oh, there's some cool shit in here. And so I would go back and, like, fill in the gaps. But, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. like, it was, this is my favorite Avengers team. And I know that's blasphemy, because it's like, what about Quicksilver? Right. And I'm like, fuck Quicksilver. Hulk like, and, and Hulk and Iron Man. Like, I don't, you know, it's not interesting putting Hulk on your fucking Avengers. <laughs> and a lot of plot threads are in here that like it's fun because it gave you a little bit of a reread value after like Secret Invasion when it was like oh I guess it was a scroll right like Jarvis and fucking Jessica Drew and shit right Jarvis was a scroll yeah he stole the Luke Cage baby he made scroll right. pancakes yeah son of a bitch What's maybe they're better Luke Cage baby? nothing he kept it give it back <laughs> he kept it and then like Norman Osborn his team of psychopaths Eight scrolls until they found <laughs> the right. Jarvis scroll. That's right. And then, uh, and then they just, and, yeah. And then they just gave it back. They were like, "Oh, I'm sorry." And then they just murdered the rest of the scrolls. I'm like, "What a vicious, horrible world we live in." Yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> that said, like now that we're in this world of like secret wars, and even before that, with the heroic age, like after Siege, Captain America's back, Iron Man and he are kind of friends again and shit. And the Jonathan Hickman era of Avengers, like it's what what brings in Secret Wars, and what's happening now. I what a joyless, miserable world we live in. Like this is at least fun. These people know each other and like each other and have fun. And like that's what's so frustrating with this when it started. Like I was like into it, and we got Sentry and Ronan, and then pretty much almost immediately Civil War. Yeah, and we had to split. We it. broke the yeah. team. And you're like, oh, I was having fun. Yeah, with I was these having guys. a really good time, yep. and then no, no, it's over. It's over. And then the rest of the time, the new Avengers were the underground Avengers who were living in like uh, Doctor Strange's basement, like hiding from Iron Man. <clears throat> but at this point, as you asked earlier, like, is this the Avengers? This was the Avengers. Okay. And then after Civil War, Iron Man started the Mighty Avengers. The Mighty Avengers, starring a team of Avengers you wouldn't give a fuck about, like Hank Pym and Yocasta and shit. Yeah. Uh, no, it was more like uh, uh, Yokosuke came later. It was actually more like uh, Ares and Ms. Marvel and uh, She-Hulk. It was a more proper Avengers. An Avengers okay. you'd expect. Yeah. But we need a green person. Yeah, we got to have a Hulk in some way. So, so, so we'll get red, red or green. green. No, they didn't have any Hulks yet. They added Hulk. They added Red they Hulk a later. She-Hulk. They had a She-Hulk, yeah. yeah. But she isn't a rage monster. She's just, you know. Well, no, she's just smart and strong. Yeah. So there you go. New Avengers. Uh, question for you guys who are not normal readers. Would you read this book? Like, would you read this title? Maybe. It sounds cool. If you you read uh, Disassembled after we did the episode, yeah, I think you would dig it because you seem to like it. Yeah, because that was like Bendis' writing. I think you'd dig it. Yeah, my problem. I mean, with this though is that I'm just like it doesn't it doesn't go anywhere. No, it well, goes into civil war. Oh, well, and then it goes into uh, everything else. Like every yeah. event is tied directly in with new events. So yeah. it does go somewhere. It just it doesn't have its own storyline that goes. Really long. No. Yeah, it just kind of fills in some gaps between the major events. That's yeah. cool, though. It's yeah. fun, and, and I like the era, like when Captain America dies, and they, they're they're like, okay, well, we gotta go make sure we gotta figure out if that's true. So they have to like break into Shield, which is run by Tony Stark at that point. Mm-hmm. 
It's interesting. It's a cool little story. And Doctor Strange joins the team later, and that's kind of neat to see. Cool. Except he almost immediately gets his ass kicked by ninjas and shit, so you're like, oh my god. <laughs> like, so how much power do you have, Doctor So, Strange? yeah, what do you do? What would you say you do here? Well, you don't understand! I've, uh... He would do it when he... I've cursed the futures! He would, he would say... They're really gonna be bad He'd be like, on. I pay the rent on this place! <laughs> so if you want to stay here, you'll keep your mouth shut! <laughs> you know, do you like my Minotaur butler? <laughs> <laughs> Minotaur butler? No, it's Wong. Wong's his butler. I thought there was some Minotaur butler at some point. I don't know. Uh, There's a Minotaur in uh, Infinity Gauntlet. That's uh, all I know. That's, yeah, no. He doesn't keep that Minotaur. <laughs> you don't get to keep that Minotaur. <laughs> that Minotaur is on rent. That Minotaur yeah. belongs in history. Yeah, that min- well, that Minotaur belongs in like a dimension where Minotaurs come from. <laughs> and then right, Kang is just like, I like that Minotaur. Yeah, like that Minotaur, <laughs> take that. Ooh, cup of carpenter. <laughs> Kang's such an irresponsible douche. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. This is New Avengers, part of the Age of Ultron week. Maybe Go see it. Very yeah, little reference. Go watch it. Oh no, we did Ultron. Age of Ultron already. Yeah. And even then, like, Age of Ultron has nothing to do with that movie. And only two of the characters in this book are actually in the movie. Well, no, but <laughs> Age of Ultron alludes to this new era of Avengers. Mm, right, because they do form some new Avengers. Now, again, none of these characters are the ones that we that were see in, it. in the movie. No, Captain America's there. But yeah, I mean, the new ones. Yeah. Spider Man is not. Wolverine's not. No. Spider Woman is not. No. Luke Cage is not. And they never will be. And like, they never will be. No. Now, that said, I heard a rumor that they're calling the new Spider Man reboot Spider Man The New Avenger. Which I'm not that. I don't have a problem with that. That's fucking awesome. I mean, I kind of no, like fine. it. I didn't like Captain America The First Avenger. Because I was like, fuck you. Just call it Captain America. Don't call it. It's, 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 stupid. it's gotta have a. It's gotta have a sub. They don't call it, it wasn't Iron Man 3 Avengers is coming. Well, it wasn't also Iron Man the second Avenger. No. But Iron Man was already like... Uh, Oh, Iron Man, it was Iron Man Prince Money. Yeah, it was Iron Man. It was Iron Man 2. Well, it wasn't (laughs) Thor 2, almost the Avengers. Right. But that said, I like Spider-Man the new Avenger. Yeah. Especially if there are going to be other characters in it. Well, and they're alluding to like the future of the Avengers franchise. Right. And it tells us that like Spider-Man's gonna be part. Like as yeah. far as we're concerned, like the technicalities don't matter. He's part yeah, of he's in Marvel. The, he's in the fucking movies now. Yeah. Uh he's gonna be in Civil War. Yeah. Captain America three. So we'll see cool. what they do with it. I don't know. The, I, that said, like watching Daredevil, like I don't want Spider Man in the movies anymore. You want now I want him on Daredevil. Yeah. Now I want him in the streets with these characters. Maybe he could be both. I don't think they'll do that. <laughs> I think they'll be like, um, that's uh, TV. I mean, could they put yeah. him in Daredevil and he's like, he's the funny part now? Because right now there isn't a funny, funny part. <laughs> Foggy's funny. Foggy's funny. Foggy is... He tries. Until he gets all buttered about Daredevil secret. Yeah. yeah Foggy's somewhat whimsical, but only because like... He's plucky. You're just like, oh, Foggy. You know, well, the joke is that he's not that good. <laughs> <laughs> he's good. He's good nature. Hey, he's a great lawyer. Yeah, he figures I it out. I guess he's okay. He actually does the work. He seems to be implied, though, that, that Matt Murdock is a better lawyer. Yes. Like, oh, he gets no better questions. questions and so forth. Yeah, or Matt's better. way better. No, Matt's better because he knows when anyone lies. Yeah, he's only better because he's well, fucking yeah, cheating. doesn't help you, like, ace the test. No, it's which true. Which is written. That said... <laughs> Oh, that's what it read for him. I, I heard Whoa. that uh, Charlie Cox's contract with Marvel is that he can he has to be in any movie they want him to be in. That if they want him in a movie, he gets to go. Like, wow. which I love because yeah. I'm like, fucking well, then put him in Civil War right. because I want to see that shit. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, that'd be fun. That's my theory, by the way. I'm throwing this out there because Civil War is going to have everybody in it. I think even Scarlet, which is in Civil War, the movie. Oh wow. And uh, they're everyone's like, Spider-Man's got to be in Civil War. I'm like, well, they're not going to make him take his fucking mask off. <laughs> okay, they're not going to do the thing they did in Civil War. Yeah. But they could do that with Daredevil. Because Daredevil's oh, already established oh, to have yeah. a public identity. So, like, they could do that shit and have the same effect. Like, they could yeah. draw from all the stories where Daredevil's identity is out in the show. Right. And they could have the effect of a like street level superhero taking off his mask in front of people in like the Civil well, War. Well and that could have the big reveal and the problem with like, well now everyone knows that I'm Matt Murdock and it's so a I'm huge fucked. problem. Yeah, and, exactly. And That's Spider-Man's cool. like, man, I'm glad I didn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Spider-Man's like, what an idiot. I can't believe you did that shit. Why would you ever do that? Yeah, why would, I don't know, okay? 
That's I like that would that. be hilarious. That's fucking cool. Thank you. I think that's a fun idea. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it, and then I'm gonna be really disappointed. Yeah. Thanks. No, because that was, that was because a lot we of... said it now. They're gonna be like, oh, oh, you think that's what's gonna happen? Well, it's not. <laughs> yeah. Well, don't air. Don't air any yeah. of this. <laughs> they won't do it if they see. Yeah. That people know. Well, you know what? Sure, I don't put it on any forums. Mm -hmm. uh, honestly, like a lot of the things I thought was gonna happen in Age of Ultron, I fucking did not. <laughs> so I'm not that big of a Marvel Cinematic Universe prognosticator. Not even close. You heard it here first. To happen. Not a prognostic. Don't know shit. See you next time. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. <laughs>